Yeah, so this is, this is an interesting contrast because in 2017, 4th of April last, in 2017, we had a tremendous number of monarchs that were in Oklahoma at that time. They were accumulated in northern Oklahoma in massive numbers, the numbers we'd never seen before. And they couldn't get into Kansas because it was too cold. It was kind of like what it's going to be like this weekend. And then uh, suddenly the weather broke, and in three days, those butterflies that were in northern Oklahoma ended up in Nebraska. I mean, we would never seen the population explode that much. It moved uh, 100 miles a day in, in, in three days. And those females that moved north were full of eggs, and they laid an awful lot of eggs. And last year, we had absolutely the opposite situation. And that taught me a lot, because the butterflies were confined to Texas last year. And being confined to Texas, they laid all their eggs in Texas. And uh, laying all their eggs in Texas was really one of the best things could happen to those butterflies, because what that meant was that the age to first reproduction of all of their offspring was really short, as short as it possibly could be. And that's important. Populations grow best when you have the maximum number of offspring which have the shortest interval from start to finish in terms of a generation. So we call it an egg-to-egg -egg interval. And if they're really short, the population will grow really fast. But when those butterflies spread their eggs out from Texas all the way up into Nebraska, you get a really wide distribution of egg-to-egg -egg generations, and the population doesn't grow as fast. So I kind of realized what was going on last year. I got really excited about it. I said, Mama, monarchs, mamas keep your babies in Texas. We need Waylon Jennings or Willie Nelson to come up and sing a song, say, monarchs keep your babies in Texas because that's going to make the population grow. Now this year what we're seeing is something that's kind of a hybrid between what we saw in 2017 and what we saw last year. It's not as bad as 2017. The butterflies are a little further north than they were in 2018, but they're still laying on a lot of eggs in Texas. And they're still laying a lot of eggs in southern Oklahoma. Now, what I don't want to see is I don't want to see them in the Kansas or Nebraska until the end of the month, or maybe even May, because that will mean that there will be a big first generation coming out of this part of the country that will populate all of the northern breeding areas in May and June. So what, what's going to happen next is we, we still have some monarchs moving north here. We've had a lot of reports out of Oklahoma, of monarchs in Oklahoma. We had a lot of reports of monarchs laying a lot of eggs in this part of Oklahoma. Uh, we saw some monarchs yesterday at the gathering place. Uh, we found some eggs on some plants in the gathering place. So they're here, they're laying eggs, but the numbers aren't excessive, right? And I don't want to see excessive numbers at this time. I want to see them stay down further south. Um, but what's going to happen is all of those eggs that have been laid further south in Texas and Oklahoma, southern Oklahoma, they're going to mature into adult butterflies at the end of April. And at the end of April and the beginning of March, they are going to move north to the northern breeding areas, which are pretty much north of 40, uh, 40 north, which would be St. Joseph, Missouri, and further north than that. Most of the monarchs that get to Mexico come out of that northern area, that northern breeding area. So we want the maximum number of monarchs to get up to that northern breeding area. And that's why we want the, the most of that first generation to be born in Texas and maybe southern so Oklahoma. Have... Yeah, you will have some breeding again in May. And, and last summer they were here all summer long. And many summers they are here all summer long. But if you have an extremely hot summer here, like in 2012, you won't see any monarchs here in the summertime. It just get too hot for them.